What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw the flash. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the top edge of the brow. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a straight angle line going up and then out. Let's line up the inside over on the right and draw the same length line. Now from the inside, we're gonna curl up the brow. Starting on the left, we're gonna bend this in and go up. Do the same thing on the right. Now you wanna tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting on the left, let's step in to create an overlap. We're gonna draw a half circle. I come down and then bend that up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down towards the same height and then tucking that up underneath. Now from here, we move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. Let's start over on the left, add a curve, coming down and then up. Now let's step down and draw the mouth. Starting back over on the left, coming down in the middle, and up, and I'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Now before we get into the details of the mask, let's draw the bottom half of the head. From the outside left eye, let's step out, I'm just going to curve this down. And just bend that in towards the chin, just underneath the mouth. And go across, and then bend that back up on the right. Now let's go back and draw the edge of the mask. On the left side of the nose, let's step up. I'm just going to bend this up, and then down. Now from the ends, let's angle this down and out on either side. Let's curve the mask, going out, and up towards the left and right side. And I'll follow the curve of the head, coming down and then in towards the chin. So right about there. And we'll close off the center with a curve, going up towards the mouth and then back and down. Now we're gonna go back and draw the top half of the head. Let's start on the left side. We're gonna bump up the side of the head, bend this up and then in towards the middle. Now we're gonna go across, round up the right side, and then pull that in. Let's add that detail across the top of the head. From the inside of the brow on the left, bend this out and then up. Here we're going to bend this out and then down towards the side. And curve this out and up towards the top of the head. Now let's move out to the side and draw those ear covers. On the left side, we're going to bend this out. Just pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now on the left side, we're going to angle this up and out. And then we'll curve that back in towards the head. Let's trace this along the inside. We're going to taper this around and angle this down in behind. Now from here we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, just underneath the head. Bend the body going out and then down towards the hip. Let's move over towards the right, go out and then down towards the same height. Let's draw the bottom edge of the belt. From the hips, angle this down and in. Draw a short angle line going up and out. And we'll pull that in towards the center point. Now from the hips, we're gonna step up and draw the top edge of the belt. Start with a short angle line coming down and in. Angle up and out. And I pull this down and in towards the center. Let's go to the center of the body along the top and draw a large circle. We'll go all the way around towards the bottom and then back up. Let's add a simple bolt going across on the top right angle down and out, come straight in towards the middle, and angle this back down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top, come down, straight out 
towards the right. And I'm going to pull that down towards that bottom point. Now I'm going to trace the inside of the circle in behind the bolt. I'm going to start with the left side. So leaving an in space gap all the way around. Now I'm going to go back to the center, step down at a curve, going up and down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg, going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up. And we'll go back to the left side, let's round out the top of the foot, we go up and bend that down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. We start with the left, bending this out and down on top of the foot. Let's add a thin sole on the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now let's move up and draw the edge of the boot, starting on the left, and goes down and in, and line it up on the right, and goes up and in, and then curve this in and then down towards the inside of the leg. Now let's move back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the hip, starting right here, then the inside of the arm going out and down towards the wrist, and then line that up on the right. From the wrist, let's draw a small half circle coming in and out for the thumb and add a bracket on the end. Now we're going to wrap three fingers around on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb and come down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out and then up. And then the third finger, we're going to blend this into the arm, going up, tuck that up underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting underneath the thumb, add that second finger, and then the third finger going all the way around and up underneath the head. Now I'm going to separate the edge of the glove, starting halfway along the inside of the arm, then it's up and then out. And I'll add a trim along the top. Stepping up, I'm just going to taper this down towards the inside. And we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's our cartoon illustration of the Flash. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.